So Mario asks, is it possible to divide leptons and quarks into more fundamental quarks? And how can we prove that they are the most fundamental particles if we can't keep doing this? Um, can we always separate one particle into smaller particles? Well, that's a good question because uh, the history of physics is that uh, we um, have found that if we look at elementary particles, atoms, we discover that they're made out of simpler objects. I mean, um, Democrates, over two and a half millennium ago, uh, hypothesized that all of matter was made out of atoms, which, and atoms were always thought to be indivisible, point-like objects. And in fact, we uh, discovered are convinced by the end of the 19th century that matter indeed was made out of atoms, but understood very soon that atoms had structure, electrons and nuclei, and then we understood that the, nucleon has, the nucleus of atoms has structure, the nucleus is made out of protons and neutrons, and later we've understood that the protons and neutrons have structure, they're made out of point-like quarks. So today, our standard theory of elementary particle physics is based on a theory of matter, which identifies the basic constituents of matter as point-like electrons, neutrinos, and quarks. Um, but of course, everyone was open to the idea that electrons and quarks themselves would exhibit structure and might be made out of even more fundamental sub-electrons, sub-quarks. We haven't given them good names because we haven't found them. We've been looking. We now can probe the structure of electrons and quarks down to, let's see, roughly one millionth of their size. So it's as if we have a microscope where we can blow up a quark to a very big radius and look inside with great detail, and we have seen no evidence that they have any structure at all. Now, it just might be that the point-like objects we're looking at inside quarks and leptons are even smaller, but there's no evidence for that at all. And it could be that, that this is the end of the story. Could be that quarks and leptons are themselves truly the point-like constituents of matter. However, uh, there are various open problems in elementary particle physics and our exploration of matter that suggest that there is new physics at shorter length scales, but it might be of a different nature. And indeed, there are attempts uh, to unify all the forces of nature based on something called string theory, in which uh, when you looked at a quark with a very good microscope, much, much better by factors of a million times a million times better than what we have today, you would see not subquarks, not that the quark was made out of three or four or some number of u smaller units, but rather that the quark is not a point-like object at all. It's an extended string-like object. It's a vibrating string. And that's a totally different approach to what makes up the different elementary particles, not even smaller point-like particles, but different modes of vibration of a single extended object. In string theory, in fact, you have only one string, but it vibrates differently, different kinds of vibrations, much like a a uh, violin string has many different harmonics, and in string theory, all the elementary particles that we see are simply different vibrational modes of the same extended string. So that's a way of having substructure, but not point new point-like substructure.